My friends, a new day for Venice. City of Light, City of Magic, under Massel and Jars. The first ever steward we've had for about four generations. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Uh, all three, one of them, are uh, on the subject of Crusader Kings 3. If I get time today, I do plan on starting the Series B Crusader Kings 3 playthrough. Well, we're going to play, we're going to try and go for the Iron Man achievement again. Uh, the, the mother of all achievement as uh, D Dora, Dora, D D Doramu, Dormammu, whatever her name is. I don't remember. Um, I'll probably look up some, some pronunciation before we start the series so I don't completely fuck it up. Anyway, uh, that might be going up as you're watching this episode. That'll probably be going up in about a couple of hours. Um, depending on if I get enough time, because RimWorld today took five hours to bloody record. Um, I guess this is a problem with not pre-recording an entire series, huh? So here we are. Right, Venice then. Very easy character we've got right now. She's intelligent, gives us th the 20% the, the lifestyle experience, and that too gives a total of 30. We should be able to get to Architect faster than any other character we've had, because the equivalent of obviously these combined is genius. We never had a genius character. Um, and I don't even remember the last time I played as anybody who was a... Uh, who was a, a stewardship character. So we got the election dealt with, so I forget about that one. Um, I don't really care about you guys. Oh, you're actually really good, though. Shit. Okay, well, obviously, we'll put him on board. There you go. Um, and who else we got? You. 30. 30? Intrigue. She's 68, so I'm not going to do that because I don't want to risk firing Stefanos and having him leave our court. He's only got plus 10 opinion. So if we can sway him, if we can befriend him, if we can seduce him... Uh, it gives us a secret on us, doesn't it? Especially when we're blackmailing everybody. Let's just sway him. Try and win him over. We're shy. That's made us apparently critically stressed, but it hasn't. So don't worry about it too much. Um, because we're shy, are we allowed to... We are allowed to do this, right? Shy doesn't affect that. Just compassionate and and just and uh, apparently everything these days. Here we go. Let's start bringing in some dollars then, huh? There we go. Very nice, very nice. And demand payment from him. 90 gold. So we've got around five years before the majority of our things come in here, but we'll we'll just stick in the Byzantine Empire because right now they are bloody gigantic. Ah, debasing the mints. There we go. Um, stewardship challenge. We gain 90 gold. Do we really want 90 gold at this point? New silver coins minted does what? Development growth 5%. That actually might confer a slight tax bonus anyway. Um, go on, debase the mints. Ah, oh, we failed. Well, thank you. Much appreciated. Um, slink away. We oh, that one actually lets us lose stress. Stress in exchange for prestige. I'm more than happy to do that, especially because everything bloody stresses her out on account of being... Oh, God, for fuck's sake, CK2. Three, whatever game you are. I could have sworn I set the game rules to no nudity at all, thank you, because I don't want to get banned from YouTube. Uh, but I guess that's still still bugged, huh? All right, there we are. Get some more payments there. Thank you very much. Another 90 gold. We'll just accept them as soon as possible. I would rather have 90 gold coming in. You know, we, we, we fabricated all those hooks. And then we claimed them all basically in one go. I would rather gain them across a longer period of time. Because you never know when we're declared war. We might need mercenaries. We might still have four years, say, on our on our hooks after we've just spent it on something massive like the Metropolis. So, actually, to be fair, we're getting very, very close already. What was it? With the deductions, it was like 10,500. Um, construction slowdown. Fucking hell. Who's our steward? We need a much better steward because these guys are so crap. Um, maybe I could try and find someone while we're just kind of waiting here. Our husband would be incredible. Actually, I should put him on stewardship, shouldn't I? Um, let's go all within Diplo range, who are preferably not a ruler. Um, Halfred Swedish. We could try and make her 49, though. Basically one foot in the grave. Um, you'll do. Markwart. You think we could get him to court? Oh, Christ. Every time we start the success, we lose... Or start a scheme, we lose shy. Um, or, or, or because of Shy, we obviously gain stress. Um, can I maybe send you just some gold? What's the chance of him to come to court? Minus 100. There is a high opinion of Wolfgang, and he's on the council. Okay, fair enough. Solve that, then. And our steward died as well, so we've got an empty position. It's got to be somebody I can bring in. I started swaying her, but... Oh, God, please bring back the invite to court filter paradox. I beg you. This is... This is pain. This is pain itself. Uh, Nothing. Nothing. Okay, I'm going to sit here for the next hour just basically going through people. What if I sort by opinion? Oh, that's not really going to help us with stewardship, is it? Like, uh, oh, great, our husband, brilliant. She likes us, but that's the person I'm swaying and already sent us some gold. Um, fuck, really? They're so bad. 13 is the best we can get. Christ almighty, playing the council is just not as, as easy in this, is it? Um, we could try and fabricate claims on, uh, fabricate hooks, sorry, on people, future on. 11 stewardship, that's what we're going to have to settle with. Bloody hell. How's it, how are we doing on development right now? 34. Nice work. We're four points up. Uh, fairly slow. Probably, I think, the Byzantines are going to... Is it worth, do you think? 
is it worth swapping you to collect taxes and working on development after we've got buildings that buff development building? I think that's probably a sensible idea because there are the, the duchy or the wonders, basically. Um, oh, okay. Create a cadet branch. Oh my God, replacement Steve, Steve's... Replacement Steve's son started a cadet branch over in Jerusalem. Oh, okay, fair enough. It, uh, yeah, like he'll last any time at all. Got our first one already. Um, let's go tax woman. Um, seeing as we're not going to be building anything anyway, we might as well get the taxes faster earlier. We're up to 14.3 gold per month now. That's actually really good. Um, my chancellor had the indecency to die. That did say my chancellor died, did it not? Uh, maybe you took over for reasons I don't understand? Okay. No, I'm pretty sure it was you on the council before. I think I'd remember a lunatic dwarf dressed like a tank. Anyway, let's get you on... Oh, we've got to go manage domain, huh? Look at that, 15.5 now with him on. And we're 2 out of 10 on domain size. Christ. So difficult to get counselors to your court these days. Um, let's not bother with you then. There'll be a mod that changes it pretty soon. There might already be one that I've just missed. Um, North by your Archbishop. What's wrong with you? Okay, I guess I'll start swaying you. Are we actually... Is it actually critical this time? Yes, it is. Okay. Now that it... I, it, it says that always. It must be a tooltip bug. Um, right, can we go on a hunt? Because that's basically the only thing we're really interested in doing as this character. Next year... I'm um, going to pilgrimage. Is there no downside to that besides the actual monetary investment? Might as well do it for the piety, to be fair, mate. If we get pilgrim as well, Pope likes us more. Eventually, that will translate into, into, into direct gold as well. Um, go to the Vatican. Let's go to Jerusalem. Sorry, we might as well embrace it, huh? That's 275. That's the most expensive one. 275 in San Diego as well. Let's go to... Oh, sorry. I did actually want to go somewhere. Don't mind. Um, the old commandments. Convert to Karis and then just convert back. We've got that or reclusive. Um, stewardship minus one, stress loss plus 20%. I don't want that. We're just going to say bite your tongue. We'll send her on a pilgrimage and we'll do a hunt when she gets back. And hopefully that'll be enough. One pilgrimage in the bag. 625 going to trade pilgrims to try and make the Pope like me a little bit more, if you don't mind. Um, we are still stressed out, though. So anything we can do to save that is going to be quite useful. Um, what does this one do alternatively? Oh, it's just, it's just building and construction. Fair enough. Um, fine, then defensive measures will start just heading down at that point. And it's good to be home. Uh, Pope, really do with some dollars. It's not endorsed by a bloody... Uh, even though we went on a pilgrim. Why? Male dominated. Oh, because we're a man. He doesn't like us. Well, you can get fucked. There we go. Thank you. One hunt. I am going to make you... Oh, God. 23% chance she dies. Uh... Oh, I can't risk it. No, I can't. I'm sorry. Lose 150 prestige. We can't risk that. That's ridiculous. Came home in disappointment. We gained 150 prestige again. Um, didn't gain any sort of hunting trait. I assume you only get the hunting trait from having a successful hunt, right? Otherwise, that would be a bit counterintuitive. What have we got now? Uh, we can also lawful imprison him. And he'll rebel, and then we can revoke his title. We've got the domain size for it, so why the hell not? Right, okay. Um, army's up, if you don't mind. Oh, who'd have thought he went to war with us? Right, he's down here, isn't he? Apuila, that's a good province to revoke as well. More than happy with that. Hi, troops. I don't think I remember him having that many. Um, what trait is that? Veteran Commander. Siege phase time, minus 20%. Wow, that's really good. Holy shit. Right, this should be easy. Decisive as all hell. Come back. Hey, stay there. Look at that. What a battle. It's like a, it's like a real video game now, huh? There we go. Excellent. Right. I'm going to just take his capsule. I don't think it will do much damage. Uh, unless he embarks and heads over to Venice, at which point then we could be in a lot of trouble. Looks as if he may be embarking and going to Venice. Do you think he'll be able to siege Venice before we siege down his capital? Bear in mind, Venice is port level of 15 versus port level of 3. And they can't siege. Hey, there we go. <laughs> That's good. I thought it was probably worth a gamble, especially given that our guys got that siege master trait or whatever it was. Veteran, veteran commander. And that is everything. Thank you. I will be taking your title now, if you don't mind. Uh, let's go ahead and see. I don't know if we're allowed to do it because he's just uh, he's a criminal. Yep, we can revoke his title. Boom, there we go. Fantastic. We'll just hang on to a boiler. There's no reason not to. Just get our marshal over there very quickly. Or not at all. Hang on. Uh, turn a quick profit. Don't really care about those. Right. Here. Uh, you. Go. What does that mean? Oh, it shows you hooks that your counselors have on you. Well, we don't really care about that so much. It's a real shame. Because obviously in CK2, you would make your spouse your... Your whatever. Your steward, spy master, commonly. Um, I guess it's not so bad. Because we do get the bonuses out of it. Fair enough. Uh, have we got anybody better than you yet? Or are we still <laughs> still garbage stewards in Venice? I mean, that seems to be pretty much on brand, huh? She's got 22 stewardship, though. Hang on, I take that back. 
She's doing a lot better than I thought. We picked up plenty of hooks. So we're over in the HRE now, or at least in the capital of the HRE, grabbing what we can. That should bring in a nice amount of gold right there. Um, I cannot reveal the secret. Use it for blackmail. Oh, well, we might as well just out and then sod it. There we go. And we've got some payments. Four payments from that. Wow, very nice. 115. 28. It's based on your tax income, right? 115 there and 115. Man, I should have been doing this since the start. We're almost there. 9,719. Oh, a crusade for the Kingdom of England. What the hell are they right now, then? Uh, Catholic. Just creating the Holy Grounds of England. Uh, maybe Ireland? Maybe Insular Christianity? Yeah, that's it. So, really? Insular actually made a comeback, and that's... They're going to they're going to start a holy war for two provinces. Did they reform? Um, organized. Fair enough. And that's it. No head of faith or anything either. Wow, that's crazy. Can't believe Insular has survived this long. Okay. Um, I will I will absolutely help you fight in that one. Might as well give it another one of our family members. <laughs> what do we? What would that make? That makes uh, Crusader England right as a kingdom level title. Boner money. Excellent. Onlyfans.com slash Ron DC Games if you're interested in boner money. Anyway. Um. Right. Here we go. Let's go and. Wait. Let's just wait. Let's see how it plays out. I don't know if I can really be bothered. Oh, that's what I was kind of hoping for. There we go. And we're getting plenty more, plenty more money here. I'm going to say get into position with our troops, but it's obviously really not worth it. Ten more months. Although, I guess ten months to sail over there. I want to be I want to be front and center. I think this is going to be quite an easy war for us to, uh, us to fight in. Um, bearing in mind that it's like four provinces on South England, so I'm not... I think we're going to be particularly overwhelmed. Not like landing over in uh, Egypt or wherever we went to last time. Let's go sit menacingly outside Hampshire because there's really not a lot else to do in Hampshire. Floaty ghost, Maslin Jar. She's genius. Uh, hold on. I mean, firstly, she has to be our heir. So I've got to, I've got to crack out some good names. We've got to go for like elongated mus muskrat with this one, right? Elongated muskrat. There you go. The meme name for the meme queen. Let's make sure she's educated immediately. Not by us. Nah, well, maybe by us. We're not bad at... It's primary stat that affects it, and we're intelligent. So we might as well go for it. But I believe that unlike uh, early CK2, obviously after Conclave, they've changed it. Um, but I believe that education has no impact. You bloody hope so. She's, she's clearly... She is the most experienced steward in the country, besides her husband. Who I guess might make... Is diligent, stubborn, grumpy? Uh, he might make for a better educator. What is she? Calm... Oh, but we have fair control over it, and their stats are the same, and they're both got the same intellect trait. So I think we'll do it and just keep control, spend the stress to make her as good as possible. I think that's probably a better play. Right, how are we looking then? Declare we're on the Basilius. I appreciate the offer for Prince Eggboy. Uh, I'd rather not get completely destroyed. Thank you. How long? Three months. Okay, we can just go sit outside Hampshire for three months, starving to death. There's nothing wrong with that. Stewardship perk available. We'll deal with that in a second. And go. We're in. Day as well. Get in there. Wait, who were at war with? Maybe I was incorrect. Oh, Essex? Cathar. Oh, that makes way more sense. Bollocks, we're in the wrong place. Um. Ah! <clears throat> right. We're not going to join the crusade this time, I've decided. We've got a perk here. We've got cutting cornerstones. We've got an empty council position. Our steward died. Tragic. Um, Paolo Money. Terrible name for you, seeing as you are... Oh, man, and we lost our really, really good Spymaster, too. Oh, it's Egg Boy. Wah. Okay, whatever, Egg Boy. Oh, Dynasty Legacy, though. Convergent Blood. Chance of reinforcing general traits 30%. Brilliant, well, our next generation has genius. Fuck yeah, I'm going to go for that. Brilliant. Urganant again. Hey, there we go. Okay, give me another genius kid. Thank you. Um, I, So, reinforcing. Reinforcing is when they upgrade, correct? I don't really know the... Uh, don't really know the nomenclature very well because it's all kind of all over the place a little bit, I will admit. Um, oh, was it reinforce or was it, was it amplifying something like that? I don't remember. Um, Egg Boy, I do not trust you as far as I can throw you, Egg Boy, and that would be very far. So you stay there, you stay there, and you find secrets for me because Christ knows we need them right now. Um, actually, I think we've got a lot of hooks that I haven't cashed in on yet. Uh, here we go. Like I said, I'm trying to trying to kind of spread them out a little bit. The Pope's a cannibal. Oh, no, that's not the Pope. It's just a man with a, an equally large hat. They all agreed to give me the... Wow. They're, they're all fine with it, too. That's fantastic. 115 there. 115 there. Oh, we've actually... 10 gold because she's cheap. 115. It was 10,500, I'd like to remind you. So we are basically there now. Let's just take a look. Um... Hey? 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 Uh, 
<clears throat> now, there was an update for this mod. Uh, what? <laughs> I have a feeling it may have been a little bug that they have since patched because there was a CK2 workshop download earlier. CK3 workshop download earlier. Um, do you think they've patched the bug? Uh, oh, wait. Can we, can we upgrade straight up to here? Constructing Metropolis... Metropolis 1. Oh, so it would just upgrade whatever. Okay, fair enough. Um, huh. I think it was a bug that maybe they've fixed since then. Interesting. Oh! Twins. Intellectual. An intellectual. That's, that's incredible. What a step up for the dynasty. We've gone from being just kind of vaguely attractive people to mighty genius boys. Uh... Wow, I need some names now. So we've got, um, uh, let me think here. Um, Warren. Okay, we'll go, we'll go with Boren. Uh, Boren Woffit. Uh, Wob, 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 it. There we are. Um, <laughs> and then, um, I need another, another genius. Oh, God. I need another billionaire. Kenzie Mizos. Yeah. There we are. Um,. Excellent work. No! Wobba Buffer is is sickly. Apparently turned into a Cyberman. Let's make sure he's educated. Um I will take him because he is in theory our successor. Um because he's male and obviously it's male preferential. And no, not pointy hat man. I'm gonna give the other one to our husband. Uh so that he can hopefully do some good work there. And between us, one of these kids is gonna come out good, and then we'll just vote for whoever is best. Preferably the son, because of course we're we're Catholic right now, and our Archbishop doesn't endorse us based solely on the fact that we have boobies, I would assume. Uh, so we would prefer to play as the male, just so we can get some of that sweet, sweet Pope money. Unless we go into seduction, and we, um, you know, we give the Pope some sweet, sweet other things. Uh, have a dignified burial. Launch the body. <laughs> no! Too late. We've got smallpox. Uh, she's dead. She is absolutely dead. Drastic measures. L oh, whoa! Holy shit, I wasn't expecting that. That was it. But Kenzie Mizos fell ill, but is absolutely fine. Wow, that's incredible. Um, okay, great. Excellent news. Shame about the Metropolis cost him no money. It's not really a shame because, granted, we could have invested this money elsewhere had, had that have been the, you know, the, the upgrade cost since the start here. Um, but it does mean we've got enough money now to put down the amphitheater immediately. Uh, and anything else we really want. This is great. There is another stewardship lifestyle perk, right? Um, so we need another four more, and then we've got architect. Then we can really focus on getting these wonders out. Then how long is it going to take for the upgrade? Two years, did that say? Um, two years left. Okay. Oh, uh, the Pope's a naughty boy. I, uh, uh, I want to be friends with him, but I can't. It's going to freak us out. And to be fair, we would be endorsing a villainous Pope. So I'll just go ahead and shout at him. Like some knights? No, stay there, egg boy. Um, we could be going to hunt again. I feel like it's been a while. Oh. Oh, wow, that was like perfect timing. There you go. Right, our hunt. This time, we're not going to get killed by a wild boar. Not that we got killed last time. Um, oh, what's going on there? My hunt. Uh, really? There? That's probably a bad idea. Um, away from the others, I came across a, a cottage housing one of the most beautiful people I've ever seen. Ardesino. Why, if I remain any longer here, I would have to stay the night. Please, Ardesino, let me set you up at our court. Um, he's, he's a pretty all right um, diplomat, isn't he? Uh, that'd be utterly inappropriate. Theocratic rule of, of the same faith plus 10. That might just be enough to get our archbishop to endorse us, to be fair. It would be utterly inappropriate. We're loyal to our husband. We're true to our husband. You know, they're soulmates. And they've, they've bred some real good kids into the money dynasty. So you know what? Let's stick with him. He's a great guy. He's helping out with the realm a massive amount too. I couldn't betray him like that. But I will always remember you, Ardesino. Now, of our first payment cycle back round now. Oh, wow. Look at this. My God, and and the best part is, if 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 my theory is right, and that is of course based on income. Bear in mind, we get 90 gold per month, and now it's 125 gold per hook. If it's based on income, we are going to make a fortune. The bigger ben Venice becomes, the more money we can sink into building things like the amphitheater, which in turn increase uh, in, in, increase development and increase taxes and holding taxes. That in turn is going to increase our monthly income, which in turn allows us to blackmail for more money. This is going to snowball. We're already getting to the start of the snowball effect. I mean, look at it now. 19.5 gold per month. And every few days we can say to someone, hey, give us some dollar reduce, please. This is absurd. And bear in mind, in the future as well, we're eventually going to get uh, a genius character who's hopefully going to have a good stewardship education. That too is going to be... Oh, and she's curious. 
This too is going to be... It's going to be powerful. It's going to be insane. 20 gold because she can't afford the full thing. And a lot. It's 130 now. 19.5. Wow. This is this is pretty nuts. Tropolis 1 constructed. I'm going to have him increase development just to help with construction time. So now we should be able to put down Grand Amphitheater. It can take three years. But it's 100% it's, it's worth it. Man, this is ludicrous. Egg boy. Uh, what are we going to do with you? 100, 260 gold? He's never going to get old, is it? <laughs> um, securing those trade deals will fill my treasury. Thank you. That was actually quite a lot of gold. I feel like I am a, an apology now. Boba Fett is good. Sorry, Boba Fett um, is, is better. We go strong and wise, little Boba Fett. And we gained a husband. What? Oh, you gained the trait pregnant. I was going to say, that would, be a, that would be bizarre. That would be an extreme plot twist that no one ever saw coming. As my spy master is now... I feel sorry for... I, I want to apologize to Eggboy because he's bringing in secrets. We can't blackmail for any of them yet. Um, he's so good. Let's see if we can swap out any of our... Sorry, he is at the top of the list of people to swap out, though. Um, Chancellor. Do we have a better Chancellor? We do not. What about our steward? That's always the contentious one. Nothing. Fuck, think of how much better things would be if we could swap him out. On the plus side, next generation, we've got three power mighty intellectuals coming up. A genius and then two... Two intelligent. We've got another kid called Massalin. You know what? The, this couple are insane. They, that's that's four intelligent kids now on the, on the list. I feel like she deserves a name. What's his name? We're tried. Uh, is there a billionaire that sounds like that? Not really. Anglo-Saxon names kind of dropped out of favor. Famous like Albert... Albert's a good Anglo-Saxon name. Al Albert. Al 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 Albert. Shit. I can't think of anything. <laughs> I can't think of any names of any billionaires that aren't Bill or Steve. Right, okay. Uh, new Marshall then. Okay, whatever. God, our council's so bad. I'm going to have to look for a mod. I'm going to have to look for a mod to, to, to solve this. So two more. Two more, and then we are... I mean, we're, we're still sat on top of a mountain of gold, but this is this is a fantastic start. Um, there are, there are some mods that do things like stop uh, characters in your dynasty leaving your court. Um, there are mods that add the ability to search. You remember kind of how CK2 had the ability to search for... Um, it was search for noblemen, search for diplomats, search for warriors. That that option in the intrigue menu, um, which, of course, CK3 doesn't have. I might actually throw that into future series because it... it it, I mean, as long as it's decently balanced, of course. Um, that is something that is fairly essential because we are missing so many great things. To be fair, the council has been made a lot easier. Um, you know, obviously now there's just a timer on everything, whereas it was all pseudo-random before. Another 135 there and another 135 there. My God. If we... I mean, if we're proactive about uncovering these plots, we're going to be able to bring in... I mean, how much did we go down to when we built that? Oh! I fucking knew it. Eggboy tried to have us assassinated. You'll live to regret this, Eggboy. 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 County of Camara. Cam oh. So we can also revoke his title. I mean, I bloody hope so, seeing as I have a Clemens title. Oh, without letting me be... I mean, they tried to murder us. Surely we can just revoke it anyway. And now I'm going to do what... Look, we can't execute our family members, but we can throw them in the dungeon and let, let them die because that apparently doesn't count as kin slang. He didn't... It was not my fault he died. I just withheld his food and water. Dirty, filthy egg boy. Oh, my God. And now our best... Is that really ideal? <laughs> and now our best spy master is... Be careful with that knife. You'll have someone's eye out. <laughs> Sorry, that was actually really offensive. <laughs> hmm, Duke Jizzlebar. How I love your stacks of gold. How are we doing? Excuse me. <coughs> Fucking hell. You can barely see what we're looking at here. There we go. The fires have gone out. They've dealt with it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Any second now. 20 days left. My friends, the first wonder of Venice is complete. The Grand Amphitheater. Two tax per month, 20% holding taxes, 30% development growth, 0.2 extra development growth per month, 25 popular opinion, the peasants love me, the nobles love me, the, the renowned? Oh, that's great. And army maintenance is down as well. This is phenomenal. What are we going for next, I hear you ask? Um, basically, what it gives the highest tax. I mean, the Great Harbor is always fantastic, isn't it? Is there any upgrades to any of these? I don't think there is. Um, great Library gives holding taxes development growth 50%. Wow. Learning per level of fame, plus one. Oh, that gives us direct stat boost. So does the Grand University. Um, okay. Uh, Royal Palace is always a great 
bet for stress loss and prestige. That'd be quite good. I think I might go Royal Palace next. I feel like we deserve something for all of our time and efforts. Still got 3,000 gold in the bank, by the way. Now, I'd also like to point out is without Architect, which we're about to get to. My God, this character. She's, she's changed Venice. The, the first, I think, arguably successful character we've had the entire series outside of our first character. Let's hunt. Uh, let's hunt for a tail. I must have it. Oh, yeah. The white, the white heart. Uh, uh, the white stag eludes me, I'm afraid. I scouted ahead, yes. It might have gone away this time. I wonder if you can actually catch the white stag in this game as well. And there we go. We got Novice Hunter. Cool. That's great. And then we get more stress loss in the future. That's basically dealt with the kind of main, the main problem with this character. Oh, Ganancy again. Fantastic. Maybe I should grab that mod that stops family or allows you to designate family members as, as, um, not wandering. Um, fuck, really? Damn. What about you? Oh, no. We're getting fairly unlucky so far. She's got it. That's great. Um, I'm just going to double down on all the stewards. Like I said, we'll elect who we want. Ideally, I'd rather go for Elongated Muskrat because she is, of course, our... She's, of course, the only genius that we've got right now. Uh, but to be fair, Curious, sure, it doesn't exactly help, but it, it's, a, it's a good trait to have anyway. Um, it was obviously incredibly good in CK2. I think, I think we need to have more faith in it. Now, what I'm thinking as well is uh, once we've got Architect, immediately jump over to something like um, this one here. Wards gain your additional skills and become your friends. Or alternatively, go for Groom to Rule. Children receive extra skill points. Or alternatively, both would be ideal. Oh, another genius! Delinda. Oh, you know what? I've got to call her. We've got to call her... Um, D D Delinda... G Galinda... Galinda Dates. Incredible. That's that's actually quite a nice coincidence as well. I hate the fact that they look like those dirty little botchlings from Witcher, though, don't they, when they're just born? Absolutely vile. Just really disgusting. Husband, educate this child. Hang on. Educate that child. Well, who's educating the other child? Uh, we've got two. Do we not educate this one? Oh, bollocks. I forgot about Massel and Jars. I'm um, not giving it to the tall hat man. Don't know if the Catholic Church can be trusted. Let's give it to Pl Plobian. What was her name? What? How did I get that from her? Oh, she is from... Right, got it. <laughs> ah, I thought her name was Plobian then. Elongated Muskrat seems to have been having a difficult time at a late feast. Give her impatient. Nope. Um, impatient or shy. Impatient or gluttonous. Um... I think we've got to go for impatient then, haven't we? Lose lower learning. Opinion of Legion, Vassal opinion. Irrelevant because we barely have any Vassals and then we don't have a Legion. Hostile scheme power is up. So let's consider it this way. 20% prestige and 15% scheme power in exchange for minus two learning. Sounds pretty nice to me. So I think we're going to go for that one. Um, it's hostile scheme power. Okay, fair enough. There you go. All yours. We got trebuchets. Nice. There we go. I should really redo our mana arms at some point. You know what? Let's just buy some. Celebratory trebuchets. Goodbye, manganels. Get out of here. So we've got six. And what, what am I missing then? Um, on just Mangonel's trebuchets. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm missing one band. And I'm not sure which one. Pikeman? Uh, armored? Oh, we've got, we haven't got any armored horsemen. Oh, balls. There we go. 25.4 gold per month and 175 now from our blackmail. This is getting out of hand. This is seriously, seriously getting out of hand. And there's another one, I assume, for... She's only got 15, but we are up to 175 now. This is fucking nuts. And by the time we finish the Royal Palace, we can start work on another another wonder. Last of the Crusade for England. Not that we were particularly invested in that, but we do have Architects. So, let's go for this one to start off with. Um, we'll go for pe 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 Pedagogy, whatever it is. Um, we might as well go, I guess, Scholarship Focus to get the development growth. Go for this one and only this one. Uh, if we have to spend any more points, we'll probably go for like Anatomical Studies or Clergy Opinion to cancel out the fact that we're a lady. Um... And then after that, we'll jump over to the diplomacy one to give the kids extra perks. I'm going to double down and make sure this generation comes out absolutely perfect. Like, unstoppable. And there's the Royal Palace. This is snowballing pretty fucking fast, huh? Uh, let's go swap you out. What do we want instead? We could go for the harbor. That's 3.8 tax per month, which is just disgusting. Um, development growth 40% as well. Development growth 40%. Christ almighty. Here we go. Venice, city of light, city of magic. What's our development right now? 35. Um, hang on, excuse me. I want to see the breakdown. 35, but look at that. 10% from currency, 10% from coinage, 10% from Rome, 15% from scholarship focus, 30% from the Doge's Palace, 30% from the Amphitheater, 20% from the Royal Palace. Metropolis 1 gives 20%. Oh, Byzantium, you have, a, you have a new contender, my friends. This is the only real way to play Tall in CK3 right now, which is a bit of a shame because I do love playing Tall. I'm really looking forward to the Republic DLC, assuming there is going to be one. Another son, and he's a genius. Wow. Okay. 
if we could get a kid that actually wants the stewardship education, this is what we've really got to put all the money into. Plus now we can get earlier the um, the, the bonuses we're going for now, the, the scholarship and the diplomacy bonuses. What am I going to call you? Um, who, was our, who was our dynasty founder? Because I feel like he deserves the credit. It was indeed Jeffrey Beasles. Uh, we're going to call you Beth Jesus. In honor. In honor. You don't get his name because he was incredible and I don't want you selling it just in case you fuck up. But we do have this. And it's this kid I'm I'm super invested in. Um, let's just give him to anybody to educate for the time being. Whoever's got the highest stewardship in our court that isn't us, right? And then after we finished educating our firstborn daughter, who's only got another five years before she's cooked, then we'll swap over to educating him. Because we need control over this kid. And how are other kids coming out? Massillon Giles isn't ready for an education yet. Um, I, I'm going to just throw them all under the stewardship bus and then we can pick and choose who we want, basically. Thank you all for watching. This is where it gets good. This is where it all starts going haywire and we, we, we really build up Venice into a disgusting realm. This is going to be this is gonna be incredible. God knows what our end goal is going to be. I mean, obviously, building all the wonders is it's not going to take us a huge amount of time. So I'll leave it up to you guys for that one. Thank you to Chris, James Shea, Kat, Huey Longdong, Psycho Fear, Spooty Booky Bat... <laughs> Fucking hell. Spooty... 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 <laughs> <clears throat> Spooky <laughs> I can't do it. What the hell? Spooky Booty Banger. Christian Blue, Cake Fit Array, Night Rouge, Necrofilm, Alex Scalibur, Nemesis Rubius, Out of All Context, Oliver, Boop, and Dork for their support at the executive producer tiers over on Coffee. As a reminder, we will be jumping over to Patreon starting November. You can pledge early. I just don't want people to get double charged for a month of content. Um, because that doesn't feel right. So just bear with. I'll, I'll, I'll do a ping on everything when it's all set up and ready to go. There's some new tiers and some changes going on there as well. So um feel free to go check that out some stage thank you as well to our other coffee supporters including rivet pantherpearl athar monster noises dungeon dancing lucifer conchawabi groggy ray coringa sanit lover madness el nada stone crower pyrotica ultra spider 2000 and everyone else at coffee for making the channel possible this month thank you guys see you all tomorrow for the snowball effect